In this video, I'm going to use R and RStudio to show you how to calculate ANOVA. Below, you'll find links to a playlist on how to calculate ANOVA. I would encourage you to watch that, as well as a link to the actual R code. I'm going to show you how to set up the commands in R, as well as how to interpret the results. Again, I'd encourage you to watch the video on how to calculate ANOVA or the playlist. So now, a little background. I have group one, group two, and group three. I'm trying to measure stress levels after layoffs. The first thing you'll do is set up the commands to load the data into tables, or vectors actually. And these are the actual R commands. I am going to show you R in just a second, but these are the actual R commands you would use to set up the data initially. The data needs to be combined into a single group. And that's the command to do this, group one, group two, and group three. And that's what the output would look like. By stacking the groups, we have to stack the groups. We have to organize the data slightly different. And by stacking, I mean organizing the data this way. And that's the command for that. And if you type stack groups, you get to see the output. Group one's on top, group two, group three. The actual ANOVA command is AOV for ANOVA. Values are the values in the table. IND is the groups or the independent variables. The data comes from the table we set up initially called stack groups. By using the command summary and over results, I will see the actual results. So you should be able to find a link to the actual R code below. I'd encourage you to download it and open it up in R Studio or R. If I highlight these rows here, group one, group two, and group three, and hit run, it loads these groups up with data. The combined group, this command here, puts it all into a single table. So it looks like this. When I type highlight that row combined groups, it actually shows the table. Now the next row, I'm going to click this row right here and hit run. It's a summary of the data of the tables and it gives you the mean, the median. It might be useful to have that as well. Now I do the stack groups. I'm going to stack them up and I have to do stack groups, this, that name to display it. And that's what the data looks like. So here does the actual ANOVA command. And then I can show the results of the ANOVA. And bada bing, you have it right there. That's not too bad and a heck of a lot better than uh, doing it by hand. Typically you share the results as F2 comma 12. The degrees of freedom of the numerator is 2, which is the top number here, DF2. The degrees of freedom of the denominator is 12. The actual result of the test is 22.59. And the p-value is 0.00084. Zero which is really small. It's a lot less than uh, 0 0.05, so the results are significant. I didn't get them by random chance. Now, don't forget to share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google+, Twitter. Links to a lot of stuff below. I would encourage you to watch the video on how to calculate ANOVA by hand. It would really help you. And party more, stay lush.